Should you be going for your goals and dreams right now or should you wait? What do you do when you have obstacles in the way? Okay, so one of you guys sent me a message on Instagram asking this question. How do we know if the obstacles and the problems standing in our way are God's way of telling me, don't do this? Um, that's what they were wondering. And it's hard for me to hmm, get this curtain out of the way. It's hard to know right away without the situation, knowing everything about it. But I will say this, just because you hit some obstacles, doesn't necessarily mean stop what you're doing. This isn't the right thing to do. You should do something different. It could be, but it might not be. So if you're, you're heading for your goals, you're heading for your dreams and things seem to be getting in the way, then it's, it's really important for you to get to a quiet place, have some prayer time and really start pressing into God and find out should I move forward with this? Because everything is trying to stop me. Everything is standing in my way. So the difficulty sometimes is knowing, is this an obstacle God put in my path to protect me because I should not be going this direction? I should not be doing this. Um, or is this something God actually wants me to do? But the obstacles coming at me and the things standing in my way are from the evil one, are from Satan or the devil trying to stop me. We might not always know that right away, so it's important to get discernment. It's important not to even, uh, you know, go out and try to do something, especially something big and major that's going to take weeks or months or years to accomplish. We want to make sure we've really heard from God. Is this something he's called you to do? So if you're, if you've, you've, you've had prayer time, you've meditated, you've had those quality times to talk to God and you feel like within your heart, it's burning inside you that I have to do this thing. I absolutely have to do it. Then, then you have to trust that God's going to lead you in the right direction to make sure that happens. So, so another way there might be obstacles is Let's say you find out that this is, this is what you're supposed to be doing, but you still have obstacles. <clears throat> Some of those obstacles could be from the devil. And if that's the case and you discern that that's the case, then you got to keep going for it. You got to keep building your faith, building your muscles, um, your intellect, your emotional muscles to get over these attacks. Because sometimes things are a test. Sometimes obstacles get put in our way so that we can be tested to see what, what is it going to take to stop us. You got to know what is it going to take to stop me. Am I going to let somebody saying no to me stop me from going after my dreams? You know, no's are something we're all going to get in life. Not everybody's going to love everything you do. Not everybody's going to want to buy from you. Not everybody's going to be on board with your dream. So being able to get past the nose, you know, and some people don't want to, some people don't want to work with you. You try to do your dream and your goal and you want to partner with people. And some people will say, no, you need to start seeing that not as an obstacle, but as a gift, as a gift, because you weren't meant to work with them. If you were meant to work with them, they would have said yes. So when we hear a no, Sometimes it, it's, it's a complete blessing because then somebody who is more worthy of being in alignment with our goals, it leaves room open for them to say yes. The person that said no probably wasn't going to be very good anyway. You may have had to drag them aboard onto your dream, kicking and screaming. So then there's another way where if we face, we meet obstacles along the way, it might not be um, necessarily from the evil one, it might be God trying to get us to slow down, try to get us to stop, try to get us to think, yes, you're still on the right path. Yes, your plan is still good to happen. Yes, you should still go for it, but I'm going to slow you down a little bit. I, I don't want you to put something out before it's ready, before it's polished, 
before these different divine connections I'm going to make for you that you don't even know yet what they are. So sometimes it's just God saying, slow down, slow down. This isn't ready for you yet. And I'm, I'm seeing this too with myself. I wanted to put out my online course in January and it's like way past January 2021. And, and I see now if I had put it out then, it wouldn't have been as good as it is now. It wouldn't have been as impactful because now I've had several extra months to figure out exactly how to tell the story, what, what lessons need to be in there, what could be left out, what is overkill and too much and might overwhelm, what is just the right amount to put in my course where you're gonna be totally satisfied from the meal, but you're not gonna be so overstuffed with knowledge that you lay there like a bloated whale and don't even know where to begin. So a lot of times God will even sometimes slow us down to help us get into alignment with a proper, proper way to do things. Or there's certain people he's going to put in your life to help you and you haven't met them yet. Or they, you know, it's not their timing to come on board yet. So I would trust the process if you know without a doubt this is this is a dream that's burning in your heart and it's something that you should be doing then keep going for it every time you hit an obstacle just stop and pray and reflect and say okay god is this you or is this the other one if it's the other one i'm gonna go for it show me the best way just always be in tune with that or god are you telling me to take a break to maybe switch modes for a little bit? Should I start working on something else right now? Or is God saying, we need to focus on you. We need to build you up. We need to get your confidence where it should be, or you need to practice more in this one element. You need to get your skill level up. So don't worry about it though, if things take longer than you think they will. I have learned that over and over again. Things always take longer than we think they will. And don't despise that. Don't despise that time and think, it should have happened here at this time. And if it doesn't happen at this time, it doesn't count. It's not going to matter. It's, I'm going to blow the timing. No, because God will make up for all of the years. If you're, if you're in your divine destiny and you're following the right plan and you thought it should have happened much earlier, God knew you weren't ready then. So if you were ready then, it would have happened. So you need to trust God's timing. He tries to make everything work out for your good. If you are called by him, if you love him and you're called according to his purpose, then the timing is gonna be perfect. You know, I used to think, man, I, I the first 10, seven to 10 years I was in Hollywood. Well, why haven't I made it yet? And seven to 10 years went by and everyone said, you know, it only takes seven to 10 years to be an overnight success. And I've been here acting in Hollywood for 20 years and I'm not an overnight success, you know? So don't, don't worry about the timing. Don't worry about how long it takes. And every time you come up against an obstacle, every time an obstacle hits you, just make sure you're getting grounded, getting plugged in. Don't just keep pounding through it because Sometimes if, if a door that you want to enter is locked, it's locked for a good reason. People are going to say no for a good reason. And I would, I would cherish that as like, thank you, God, for saving me for whatever, from whatever was behind that door. When a person says no to you, don't cry, don't get down, don't get depressed and think, now this person was the only one. God knows who the real person you're supposed to work with is. And that wasn't them. How do I know that? because they said no. So you have to trust God knows what he's doing. Trust you're gonna be on the right path and and work at it, work at it, work at it daily. And don't let little things get you down. Work on your mindset. Be faithful to your commitments and your goals. And don't let anything hold you back, no matter what the obstacle is. Unless you get a clear message from God that you're not supposed to be doing this, you gotta go at it. And if things are at a standstill, if things are blocked, that's the time to press in deeper. That's the time to pray more. That's the time to start journaling and figuring out, okay, something isn't working. Let's try to pinpoint what it is. Most of the time, a lot of the obstacles are mental blocks you have. And it's not necessarily going to be 
a person or this people won't get the order right or whatever it is. I would say 90% of what we're up against when it comes to obstacles is our thought life. So we may say this person said no to me and that's my obstacle, but it's not. It's your, your attachment to wanting them to be part of it when they're not part of your plan. They're not part of the plan God had for you. So just be mindful, keep plugging into God, do your journaling and, and pinpoint where am I getting stuck? And what is a story I keep telling myself? If you keep telling yourself, this is too hard, I'm not gonna figure it out, then you're right because you're going to believe that, which means you're going to act on it. You're always gonna act on your thoughts and beliefs. So that would be the time to change your thoughts and beliefs around the obstacles and around the people you're blaming. And it always comes back to, what am I doing to stop this from happening? Is this the right timing? Or am I just mucking things up by trying to force it to go quicker? Okay, I hope that was helpful for you guys. Live true, love hard, shine bright. Thank you.